Hey y'all, Justin here, and welcome to another weekly refresher. Well, if you remember this past Sunday, we celebrated Passover and Easter, and we talked about the mystery of suffering, specifically the ability to have joy with the sufferings of Christ. In Romans 5, which is quickly becoming one of my favorite scriptures in this season, it says that when we, that suffering, specifically that suffering produces steadfastness. In some translations it says patience. So suffering produces patience. Patience produces character and character produces hope and hope will not put us to shame. So think about that. We literally can have hope from character, which is produced by patience, which that's produced by the sufferings of Christ. Oh my goodness. It says, don't think it's strange when you fall into fiery trials because the testing of your, what, faith. So. The Lord is way more concerned about what we're becoming or whose image we're being formed to versus what we're doing. Hebrews says, enter the labor to enter into rest. Okay, that means we rest from our works. That means in the midst of fiery trials. That means in the midst of suffering insult. For the name of Jesus, that we count it all joy. I know, I'm not going to even begin to tell you that I've got it figured out. I just know this, that for the joy set before Jesus, he endured the sufferings of the cross. Why? Because he knew that on the other side of the cross, many brothers and sisters, many sons and daughters would come into the kingdom. And so just like I said last Sunday, I want to challenge you again this uh, Wednesday and say this, that when you are in the midst of suffering, when you're in the midst of a fiery trial, I want to encourage you to stay focused on the prize, the reward. So in other words, if you're going through a big honking test, there's a big old promotion on the other side of this thing. Listen, y'all, we only have one shot at this. We have one shot to leave our mark on history. We have one shot to leave a legacy for our family, a, an, a spiritual inheritance for our children's children. So I wanna encourage you to be focused on running the race and don't buy into the lies of the enemy that the whole reason why you're going through things is because you're just messing up so bad. How about this, the reason why you're going through things is because God's forming the character of Christ in you and he's gonna bless you richly. Jesus told the disciples, he said that, you know what? He goes, if you've left father, mother, you, you've left everything for me, you're gonna get all of these things back even more in this life and the life to come. In Hebrews it says some people refuse to be let go so that they might obtain to a greater resurrection the very power that raised Jesus from the dead, the resurrection power is inside of each of us when we know the Lord. So this week, the rest of this week, I wanna challenge you. I wanna challenge you to embrace the sufferings of Christ with joy and thanksgiving. Embrace the fiery trials because it's producing patience. Patience is producing character and character produces hope. I hope you have an amazing week. Bless y'all.